Nick here, Very Success Customs. Today we're going to have another look at another one of our engine moulds here. Um, this one here has been based off a ZTEC motor and a Mark 1, Mark, well, Mark 2 Escort. As you can see, it's a little bit of a bulge in there. We had to sort of not quite go as deep on that. Obviously, you still got to fit within the engine bay and still be able to fit all your shock towers, so we couldn't make this too deep. Um, as you can see, we actually had a little bit of issues with this when it printed, but we managed to smooth it back out with a little bit of Bondo which is the only thing you can really use on these moulds. If you try to paint them or use any primer for filling the gaps, the primer will just stick to the plastic. Been there, done that. Um, have heard of guys using high temperature engine paint that apparently holds up all right, but we're yet to try that. We may try that on one of our reject moulds that we've got here and see how it holds up. So let's get some paper, uh, plastic in this and give it a mould. Cutting off, make sure you've got the clear side up. Put your frame in. Lock your frame down. You're going to make sure these clips feel nice and snug, otherwise, it will pull out of the frame all the way to the top. Push your buttons as you would have seen in the last couple of videos, how easy it is to set these up. And you wait for it to heat up. Nearly up to temperature now. The fan uh, pump clicks in, you know it's up to temp, and you get ready to pull the handle down. frame out, Open it up just a little bit, I like to push it from underneath, um, the mould out, just want to do this fairly quickly because of course this is PLA, it does get a little bit soft if you leave it too long, a little bit of an issue in the corner, and the fact that it's pulled up, that's fine, we've got that out, here's our finished part, um, once again, you still do see a little bit of 3D printed lines in here, but most of this is just gets trimmed out anyway. Um, and once it's painted as well, it helps smooth out any remaining lines that are there. Uh, as you see, once again, strategic in case holes. Um, you try and put them in a, in a spot where it's going to look like you're going to have a bulk or something there. Um, obviously, on a, normally on a Mark II Escort, they normally have these little triangle braces on the rally cars, which we put some of the form holes in there. Um, that's a simulated sort of like washer bottle, we put another hole in there. And a couple just in here to make sure it pulled around the um, top of the strut towers. Um, it's come out quite nice, very happy with that. Once again, this is another part that is available in our store if you want to pick them up. Um, some people are saying it looks like 4 AGE, or you know, it could look like anything that's a double overhead cam, four cylinder motor. So we're not saying it is what we've made it to be, it's sort of your imagination, it can be anything. So until the next video, have a good one.